my first adventure for the day, which I'm so excited about. Oh, that is so, and this is literally a total dupe for a Bioverse candle. It literally looks like it's been abandoned for like, I don't know how long. That is a handsome boy. what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is Wesley and if you're new here I would love if you would subscribe down below and join the fam turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single time that I post and yeah today I'm doing a day in my life and I already thought it was gonna go different than it has um it was supposed to be a really nice day today I thought and then it started raining and I was like great so I was gonna go take you guys to one of my favorite local coffee shops and grab my favorite coffee at the moment which is an iced vanilla lavender latte and it's like raining and I don't want to have to get out because like this place you have to like walk to basically um, and I'd rather just be able to go through the drive through quick so I'm at Starbucks right now no surprise to get some coffee for the day and head to my first adventure for the day which I'm so excited about so if you guys are from the Charlotte area or if you're a bride or whatever you would probably have heard of the bridal shop lovely bride well they reached out to me and wanted me to come and do a little try on shoot um, for some of their new dresses so I'm going my lovely bride today I'm gonna take you guys with me and do a whole little like mini shoot just at their bridal shop and I'm really excited to try on some dresses especially because when I went shopping for wedding dresses I only went to one shop and I found my dress there and like I didn't actually get to go anywhere else so I'm just excited to like actually try on even more wedding dresses I'm about to order welcome to Starbucks what can you clarify today hi can I get a grande pumpkin cream cold brew you got it what else for you today that's it See the window. Thanks okay. so much. Thank you. Okay, but yeah, so, and I don't know why my camera is so, like, pink right now. I think it's, I guess it's the lighting outside. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just so excited to go there. And then afterwards, I'm meeting up with Bianca, and we are going to go to another place in Charlotte called Girl Tribe. Well, and then we're going to probably go grab lunch somewhere. I don't know. I just thought it would be a really fun day to vlog, and I wanted to take you guys along for all of it. I'm about to get my coffee. And then we will head to Lovely Bride. Okay, so just got done in Lovely Bride. Um, you guys would have seen a bunch of the clips that um, I took while I was in there and it was so, so fun. It just made me literally want to get married again and like wear a whole new dress and have a whole new vibe and have a whole nother wedding. Um, but yeah, it was so fun. They sent me home with some little goodies. So a little pop socket and some stickers. So sweet of them to ask me to come in. It was so fun. And I just love trying all their dresses on. Their store is so pretty. So if you are a soon-to-be bride and need to go dress shopping, definitely come to Lovely Bride in Charlotte. It is like so beautiful in there and they have the prettiest dresses to pick from but yeah sad news is i am no longer going to girl tribe with bianca they like canceled on her last minute so we're gonna switch things up and do um a whole different thing today so yeah i'm finishing up my starbucks and um i will let you guys know what i end up planning to do i'm gonna sit here for a second and figure out my day now that things have shifted Okay, 
Okay, so I officially have a new plan for you guys. So I've been wanting to do um, like a little fall video, like preparing for fall and like going to shop for things for fall. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with the rest of this vlog. Um, but first I wanted to stop and grab some lunch. So I got a little smoothie because I wasn't super hungry because that coffee kind of filled me up and I had a bagel this morning. But I wanted to go to this new place. It's called The Lights and it's like near the Ballantine area of Charlotte and I just got this green smoothie. I cannot remember what it's called. I think it's called like the Islander or something. Oh, that is so good. Okay, so highly recommend them. They have so many menu options. Like they have breakfast, they have smoothies, they have smoothie bowls, they have pressed juices, so many things. Like I can totally see myself coming over here a whole lot more. They are a little bit pricey. This smoothie was like $9, I think. Um, but so worth it because it's so good. And everything in it is super good for you. So, if you're near the area, I highly recommend checking this place out because it's super cute inside and super yummy. Okay, so I'm going to go to a few places. I want to go to Home Goods, possibly Hobby Lobby, and then I also want to go to Walmart. I think I'm going to go to Walmart first. Walmart has these new like fall scented candles that I saw on TikTok that are only like eight bucks and they have the longest burn time and they just look so good. So I'm going to go over there and see if they have any. And then like I said, we're going to head to Home Goods. We're going to hit up Hobby Lobby. I just want to get some really cute fall decor and then I'll take you guys back to the apartment. We will decorate for fall. I'm so excited. It is like officially fall season, I feel like, because the weather is changing and today it's super gloomy and rainy, which is such a bummer. Okay, anyway, I'm going to head to Walmart and I will take you guys with me. Okay, so here are the candles. I was like, no, even look at those. Those look just like the um, ones from Bath and Body Works, but these are the ones I saw on TikTok. So I'm gonna see which one smells the best and hopefully I'll come out with some good ones. Okay, so I finally made it back from the stores, like shopping and everything. And I wanna show you guys everything that I got. I got a good amount of stuff, nothing crazy. Well, part of this you're gonna think is crazy, but I'll show you. Um, so I got these little pine cones. It's like a mixture of like just a bunch of little fall things like leaves and little tiny pumpkins and stuff. I'm gonna try and put them in like a basket or a bowl or something. I know I've got something around here that I can put those in um, and I thought they would add a really cute touch of fall wherever I put them. And then I got this mason jar also from Michael's. It was like two bucks. And then I got some candy corn to put in it. I love, love, love candy corn. It's one of the reasons I love fall so much because candy corn is back in season. And I don't know, it's probably a lot of people's least favorite candy, but it's honestly like one of my favorites. So I love that. Then, also at Michael's, I got three candles. Yes, three candles. And you will never guess how much I paid for them. They were only $9 for three. What? Are you kidding me? So let me show you guys the ones I got from there. So, candles from Michael's. I got this fall foliage one in this pretty green jar. This one just smells like a candle that I used to have. It kind of is like apple-y and a little cinnamon-y. So I really, really, really liked that one. And then I also picked up a vanilla chai one. This one is just super sweet and super fall. Like literally it just smells like fall in a jar. And then I also got this pecan caramel one. And this one's just one of those like sweeter smelling ones. I typically don't go for these, but this one smelled so, so yummy. Like I can see myself burning this like in the morning and stuff. And it would literally smell like I'm making this yummy little cinnamon roll thing that's on there. Ugh, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I got those candles at Michael's and I think that's literally all I got from Michael's. And then I got more candles at Target. Um, so I got this one. It's the Orchard Cider one. And this one honestly smells a lot like that fall foliage one. And then I also got this one from there. This is a pumpkin spice donut candle by Chesapeake Bay. I love Chesapeake Bay candles. And this one's a little bit of a lighter scent, but I thought it might be nice to put somewhere but honestly now that i got those three candles from michael's i'm probably gonna return the ones that i got from target not to mention i did get one 
at Walmart. So you guys probably saw the clip where I found those um, fall candles in Walmart. And I'm not going to lie to you, every single one of them smell terrible. And I don't know if I'm just really picky about my candles or what, but they just smelled so bad. So the one I ended up getting was the fall farmhouse. And this is literally a total dupe for a Bath and Body Works candle. And it literally smells exactly like the um, Mahogany Antiqua candle from Bath and Body Works. And I love that scent. So that's the only one I really liked from there. So I picked that up there. And then at Home Goods, I actually got these really, really cute little pumpkin things. So they look like this. And I thought they would be really cute to replace the sunflowers that are in our kitchen. Um, I do have some fall decor left over from last year that I'm going to use. So that's why I didn't buy like a ton of like random trinket type things. Um, and then of course I had to get a beginning of fall essential, which is these pumpkin cookies. You guys know I made these in my last video where I shopped for fall things and got ready for fall. And I just love these cookies. They're so easy to make and they're so, so good. I could literally eat this entire thing. Um, and I know Zach really likes them. So I'm excited to make these tonight and excited to get the apartment feeling fall. So I'm going to go ahead and try and find places for all these things and set everything up. And then I will show you guys how I put everything together. All right, so let me show you guys everything that I put out. So I filled this jar and just set it right here with some candy corn. And then I did this with our little vase that used to have the sunflowers in it. And I think it's really, really cute. And it ties together with these little things that are on this grateful and thankful sign. And I just love how that looks. And then I put one of those candles up on the shelf. And then in here in our bar area, I love how this looks. Um, well, I think I love it. I don't know. I'm probably going to hate it after a while, but I love how it looks for now. I just put that um, stuff that I got on this tray that's right here. And then I lit this little cinnamon chai candle and I can literally already smell them. They smell so good. I need to put this candle in here. And then in the living room, nothing crazy, but I just put this little white pumpkin under there and then I put these two pumpkins here for now. I have no idea if I, I actually hate them there, so they're not gonna stay there. I don't know where I should put them. Like that maybe? I mean, I don't hate it, but it looks just kind of dumb. I don't know where I'm gonna put those, but for now they're just gonna chill there. And yeah, that's basically the only fall decor I really, like set up for me fall decor is basically just candles and like setting the mood with a good fall candle so that's what i did holy crap i need to vacuum so bad but yeah so i think i'm gonna vacuum now and get this place a little clean and then i'm gonna um probably start cooking dinner i'll try and show you guys what i cook and then i'm definitely gonna show you guys the cookies that we make when we bake them because i'm so excited to make them they're my favorite <laughs> all right so i've got dinner cooking and i made some vegetable rice and orange chicken um so this is what the orange chicken looks like i just like to cook it in this deep pan and then i have the orange chicken like sauce <laughs> in a saucepan just heating up on low over here on this other eye and i just love 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 this meal it's so easy both these things come from the frozen section in trader joe's i've shared it with you guys before i don't know if i've ever shown you like how i actually cook it but yeah let me just throw both of these things cook the rice first in here with some olive oil and i add a little soy sauce which i got on the counter and then i dump it in this bowl and then i put the chicken in this with a little olive oil and let it cook and then i will like stir it around and stuff and let it sit and then stir it and sit until it looks like it's pretty much cooked i mean it's already cooked chicken it just needs to be like crisped up i guess and then i just take this and dump the chicken in this and r like roll them around in there and then i put all of it in here and mix it all up and then it is so so good it's like our go to dinner i think we eat this like once a week but it's like our favorite thing ever
like I literally got like no clips yesterday um although yesterday was a really fun day it just did not go how I planned so I figured I would um like continue into today so I woke up this morning and decided that I'm done being in this rut of not working out and I'm gonna go to the gym and whatever so I woke up later than I wanted to I don't know why my alarm didn't wake me up but anyway so I kind of got a later start to my day which is frustrating so my gym that I go to is Planet Fitness you guys know I've gone there for a while um, because it was like a gym that was really close to my house growing like back home so I still just have a membership there and so I was like I'll just go to Planet Fitness around us well the closest Planet Fitness is like 15 minutes away so I was like Ugh, I have to drive 15 minutes that's annoying but whatever so I get in the car drive 15 minutes to this Planet Fitness and it's turning me into a parking lot that like look there's no cars and I'm like this looks like a bunch of office buildings like this doesn't even look like it would be a Planet Fitness so I pull in the parking lot and it was a Planet Fitness all right like freaking three years ago it literally looks like it's been abandoned for like I don't know how long so I drove like 17 minutes to get to that Planet Fitness and then I'm like okay so where's the next closest one from where I was at the next closest one was like 23 minutes away so what am I doing right now driving another 23 minutes to get to the gym and usually I'm just like chill about stuff, but like that just really, really frustrated me because I'm like, okay, it's like, is this a sign from God that I just don't need to work out? Like what? Like it was just such a, it was one of those things that was just like a huge inconvenience, especially when I'm trying to like get motivated again and do something like, I don't know about you guys, but like I have been in such a rut lately, not even just working out, but like in general, like literally yesterday I was like, what is wrong with me like I am so like off with things right now and I don't understand why like I feel like I'm just so like down all the time and I'm just like Bleh. and I just I don't know and I just feel it's so frustrating because that's so opposite of who I am like I literally was telling Zach the other day like I literally feel so self-conscious like my confidence is not there anymore and I'm one of the most confident people like I am a very confident person and like I don't know like I'm just in a weird spot and so I was like well maybe if I go to the gym like it'll just get me back in a routine and like it'll get me feeling better about myself and yeah and then that happened and it was just so frustrating so anyway I'm heading to the gym though another 20 minutes away and then I'm gonna get in a workout Okay guys, so I'm back from the gym. It was so good, it was so nice to just like work out. I'm gonna make some breakfast lunch right now. It's like close to lunchtime, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some food because I haven't eaten yet today. I'm gonna make probably some eggs and avocado toast. fall bandana Ooh. back it up we gotta find them they're stuck down in here somewhere okay I will let you pick we have several we have this one and we have this one I think that's it so which one do you want pick which one <laughs> which one do you want you like this one? Okay. This is my favorite too. Been in in a while, sir. Oh, that looks so handsome. Very handsome on the boy. Can you sit? That's very nice. Going to show it off. Wow. That is a handsome boy. <laughs> All right, so I am unplugging my laptop now because I'm about to walk over to one of my favorite coffee shops it's called cafe mocha this is sloth i cannot deal with that we have got to get rid of him um but i'm about to walk over there and take my laptop and do some work for vestique as well as some 
name change type things um and i'm gonna edit a video probably so i just wanted to go get out of the apartment for a little bit and get into a totally different work environment because i've been working in the apartment so much like and i think i told you guys earlier like i'm in such a rut right now like i'm in such a weird spot and like i just want to like it's a weird spot and i want to like get out of it so i feel like if i change up my routine or change up my scenery and stuff maybe it'll help so i'm gonna go there <laughs> Okay guys, so I wanted to show you my current skincare because I just got some new products that I have been loving and I feel like I haven't done like updated skincare in a while but it's something I always get questions on. Also I'm talking kind of lower because Zach is already asleep and I don't want to wait. First start off by using these Nandrogena makeup wipes. I know they're probably so terrible for your skin but I've used them forever. They're the only makeup wipes that don't irritate my skin and that actually like take the makeup off so i always take it off first and foremost with this and yeah i barely wore like any makeup today so it wasn't much to take off then i will go in with the cerave hydrating facial cleanser and wash my face this is the face wash i'm currently using and i really really like it um it says it's for normal to dry skin so if you have oily skin definitely don't use this but i have super dry skin so yeah, it's been working pretty well for me, and um, yeah, so I just use this, and then I also have been using the Foreo like skin silicone brush, and I really really like it. You just press the power button right here, and it like you can hear it. It literally vibrates, and it just like gets into all your pores and really cleans your face way better than just like washing your face with your hands. Well, so I've really been enjoying using that with this cleanser then to moisturize i go in with this hyaluronic moisture boost product it is from trader joe's believe it or not i like to just take it like this and do that on my face just because hyaluronic acid is super good for your skin, um, especially if you have dry skin like me. For moisturizer, I use my Pond's moisturizer, which I've used forever. And then I go in with this vitamin E oil, which I have just recently started using. I've already noticed such a difference in my skin with using this. And I'll just take my about that much moisturizer on my hand and take literally a drop of this onto it. And I just mix it together and then put it on my face. And it honestly, like, the vitamin E oil is so moisturizing. Like, I can literally feel it. Like, it just feels so moisturizing. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a good, like, easy step that you can incorporate in your skincare routine. And then, of course, last step, I go in with my Laneige lip mask i cannot go to sleep unless i put this on my lips and it just does such a good job of hydrating them and i usually keep this by my bed at night but i brought it in here to show you guys but yeah that is my updated skincare routine i hope you guys found it helpful and if you want to check out any of the products i'll definitely try and leave them linked down below um because i really like all of them right now for my skin so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I'm gonna head to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.